Do you have people watching this and they're like, oh, your form's terrible. <laughs> I know, you're probably wondering, what in the world are we filming here in a gym? Talking about entrepreneurship, most of our videos have been, you know, targeting the entrepreneur in the business lifestyle, whether it be sales or real estate or whatever you may be in your business venture or life. But fitness and personal health and mental health all play a factor in being the entrepreneur. Because if you take care of your body, you take care of your mind, you're able, you're able to perform at your max capacity. And fitness and health go direct hand in hand with your brain and, and your heart function. And so it helps your long-term health. If you build a wealth, you know, let's say you build real estate, for example, over the course of your life and you build that wealth up there to leave it to your children, your grandchildren. Well, don't you want to be around to see it? And so not only does it help you with peak performance in your daily life, whether it be business, um, with your family, whatever it may be, it also helps you in long-term and you know extend your your age and your in your lifespan because you get to take care of your body and so fitness has really been huge for me and i can tell see i work out at about 5 a.m in the morning every single morning and it really gets my day going and if i don't work out in the morning i've already started off on the wrong foot and you get that negative mindset now that's me not everybody wants to work out in the morning or with their kids can are able to but for me it's the morning and that really gets my day going and when you think negative, you're going to get negative. That's going to happen every time. You get in the gym early, you think positive, you do maybe some yoga, some meditation, whatever it is that you choose to do to get your mind and your body right for the day, it really sets the tone for that day because now you're thinking positive. Now you're going to attract positive actions and positive thoughts will attract that. And that's how you get that and how you improve your, your mental state and you become a peak performer at what you're trying to do. And so when I you know, brought back in fitness into my life. I took a break after we had our first child. I brought it back into my life and it really improved every aspect of it. Um, it's going to, you know, be different for every single person that does it. But whether it's running, I, I like to do CrossFit. I do, you know, free weights and lifting. I'm not much for running, but whatever it may be, like I said, yoga, other, other things to really get your mind and your body healthy, it really can attract, you know, positive thinking and really go hand in hand with growing your business or your life or your relationships. And so use that as motivation, use that to your advantage to either get up, go to the gym, get up, run, go walk, take a walk outside to get your mind right. You can do it from home if you have to. It's just, you know, spend that 15 to 20, 30 minutes really getting your health right and taking care of your body to apply to, to your business. And so I use that as a real big springboard and I do most of my work from seven in the morning to noon. And that's when I'm most productive. Everybody has that, that drag, the afternoon drag, but you work out and you exercise, you also improve your energy levels. And me, I have four little kids, and so my energy level, level needs to stay active all the way through the evening because when I get home, now I've got a whole you know, other thing that I gotta go with four kids. I've got to keep them and they're active and I got to be able to keep up with them. And the day that I can't keep up with them is going to be a really rough day. And so I'm going to make sure that never happens by keeping my fitness level up. And I know I'm out of breath right now. And so I do this and when I get to talking and after putting the weights up, and I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. That's not that heavy, but you know, I've got, I'm attached to a bunch of uh, equipment here. So I got to make sure everybody's taken care of and equipment's taken care of. So, um, but I want to be there for my kids. I want to be there from the time you know they graduate and I, I want to be able to play catch with them play football play basketball play baseball whatever it may be you know run around the yard jump on the trampoline i want to be able to do that for them because you know that makes memories and, and you're able to make those memories and it really improves so fitness affects so much of your life taking care of your health eating right you know we could we could do a session in the kitchen because that's a whole other you know, part of your health is taking care of your body and eating the right foods and, and really that affects your mind and your, 
and your effectiveness in your daily life because that also you know goes hand in hand with your peak performance so peak performance is what we're looking for when, when you're an entrepreneur when you're in business when you're in sales when you're in marketing you know when you're in life and with your family and so i try to touch on all those topics with most of our videos because i think you can apply the entrepreneur lifestyle and what we use in our businesses to your daily life it's not just hey i don't i didn't start my own business so you know i don't i don't need to watch these videos it doesn't apply to me it does it applies to everyone because you can really use that to your advantage you know last week we talked about overcoming fear of failure um that applies to everybody fitness health that applies to everybody I know obesity rates have climbed in the United States over the years, and it's at the highest I think it's ever been. Heart disease is high. So really taking care of your body and taking care of your mind really will help you in the long run, business, life, family, you know, you know, et cetera. You want to build that wealth. You want to see it, don't you? Don't you want to see what you built and see what you built for your family? And so that's really huge in my life, and I really take full advantage of that as I – Try not to miss, you know, things happen and the snooze button, which is the worst thing that was ever invented, it happens sometimes, but you got to think positive, you got to roll with it. This morning, for example, I missed my 4.30 wake up, so what I do, I worked out at 6, I got a little later start to the day, but I got a better start to the day than I would have if I would have skipped the gym. And so afternoons, evenings, whatever is convenient for you, you know, take care of your body, take care of your mind, and that will take care of your business and your lifestyle in the future. So this is a moment with Matt in the gym. I know it's a little, you know, different than what we typically do, but I want to show you every aspect of my lifestyle and what I do to run at the peak performance that I need for me, my business, and my family. And so don't forget to like, subscribe, get all the notifications for our future YouTube videos, and uh, we'll see you soon. Dad, I have a proposal. Okay. You buy houses, right? Uh-huh. I have a house. Here's the pics of my asking price. But, hey, it's a dollhouse in the garage. The card says any location. Hey, it's a toy house. The card says any condition. Hey, I've paid for it once. It's broken and has strawberry pop spilled on it. Any condition. Fine, here. Maybe I can sell it on eBay or something. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Merrill.